Hey, we're live. This is the daily site clinic for Shopify store audit. And we are going to look at a specific website and audit the website in real time. I have not had a chance to look at the website. They have requested an audit on Shopify store on Shopify website. So we are going to look at it. Let's start with the website first. Now, small batch production. Why is that useful for the customer? It's a feature, not a benefit. So you should definitely think about changing that aspect of the business. And let's see if I have a possibility to do, 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 do. screen. There is none. Oh. I don't have a pointer. I had a pointer, but never mind. So this part, this part needs to be audited and changed into a proper benefit. This, to be honest, looks frankly lazy to me. Please don't mind my saying this, but you don't need a home link. The logo should be good enough. Shop should actually be categories of your products on the top. That should be the primary category. No need to have info there. Why do you need this information? If they need information about your business, they can come down. Since you're using a custom, I mean, a standard theme, a generic theme, you want to make sure that you do not, I mean, ideally you want to have two navigation menus. You want to have a core navigation, which is about what you do, and then a stand subs, you know, subsidiary navigation, which is about who you are, your policies, practices, etc. Since you don't have the luxury of doing that at the moment, and which is completely fine, don't include this information here to distract the users. The conversions drop significantly because remember, confusion means no. Clarity means yes. Keep it clear, keep it distinct. And if you're featuring loud, what are the products you're selling? Tote bags, crossbody bags, backpack, clutches, wallets, ready to ship. Now, ready to ship is typically not a category. These are the categories. This is a tag. Now, I understand that this is important. It's like clearance, it's like sale. Have it in a slightly different color on the navigation menu, but have these five items in your core navigation because this will help anybody coming to your website understand exactly what your site is about. The second part, goods for the wanderlust soul. Now, what goods? Again, try and connect with the benefit. Let's take an example and I'm going to say, okay, tote bags. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but tote bags, right? Let's see, uh, supremecreations.co.uk. I don't know if this website is, Nordstrom. Okay, let's look at Nordstrom's website. What do they say on the homepage? I mean, obviously there's going to be a lot of products that they're going to show. So they're only showing these products. No, this is not a good example. Again, I do these audits in real time simply because I want to make sure that I show you, uh, okay, which brand, let's say, let's look at it. Uh, you know what, let's look at a slightly different product, uh, backpacks. Uh, and I will see if there is a possibility of a brand that is not, a, okay, Gear Patrol, probably Gear Patrol, maybe Stridewise, let's see. No, not Stridewise, I don't know. I mean, uh, PortlandLeatherGoods.com, that's a good example. PortlandLeatherGoods.com, let's take an example. They're landing on the first page, Portland leathergoods.com let's take a look at this website here's what's going to happen the spring edit so there is save an extra there's a call to action there is a time limit so there is clearly the spring edit shop the sale you see how prominent call to action is they've kept the center blank now come back here and see this is not even clear so this needs to be a different background color so that's what i mean good for the wanderlust soul it is understandable but what's in it for me so the benefit is important Featured collection. Now, once again, if you see here, favorite collection. Featured is, unless it's, you know, our favorite or customer favorite or feature doesn't mean much to the customer at the end of the day. <laughs> then this organization of these things, you have images, you have done some work on taking pictures, but then these pictures are all of different sizes. Create consistency because consistency, once again, look at the similarity here. Same picture, same size, so that there is consistency here. When you come back here, there is no consistency and you're leaving it on the user to decide how to buy. And that's not a good place to be in. So yes, that's important. I always say one, why do we have such, I mean, two footers? Okay. I understand there are two footers, but what's the shipping? How often do you ship? I'm going to sign up for this from my list, spt.shopify. There you go. I will sign up and see if you guys are sending emails. I guess you're not. So clearly there's a mistake, but let's keep going. Refund policy. What is the refund policy? Let's take a look. 
Returns will be given at another store. There was a final discount. If you would like to exchange back within ten days after receiving, returns will be unused. Fair enough. Absolutely no refund on custom orders. Completely understandable. This is fairly reasonable. And uh, when we keep going back here, a few things that are happening here are obviously. So these are some of the changes. I mean, you obviously want to include a little bit about your history if you're on the home page, why you exist. So if you take a look at it here. they're talking about customer reviews they're talking about specifically canvas bags so they talk about new releases most fun ways to shop like mystery bags uh, men's breaker boot uh, multiple products so essentially what they are doing is first of all and here's the thing on your home page always display the different categories of products that you are in now when i see here i mean i see wallets and i'm guessing tote bags clutches so where is a backpack is there a backpack here i'm not 100% sure but you're not showing me the backpack anywhere uh, so i i don't really know uh, this is the backpack right so show it to me on the home page show me the expanse of your categories on the home page itself so that i know exactly what's going on categorize them in three different parts if you want small large medium large so this could be small this could be medium and their backpack could be large so that way users will be more users it will be easier for your end user to kind of navigate your site through i mean it demonstrates the kind of ease because you are investing time effort and energy in producing these products you now should invest some time in putting the website now these images once again make them standard size you can take canva you can all i mean worst case scenario make this image vertical instead of this image because i know that you are hanging it from here or make it slightly smaller and then smaller in size as 4 is to 5 ratio but keep consistency consistency will be better little number is super cute hand painted with the patina dream to finish this is very nice mini pouch one other thing i always recommend to my clients is to have a name you know like you're calling it patina dream finish now this is a finish that you've called right patina mini pouch or for example let me show you something i'll give you an example of this website and this is a classical example of an extremely successful brand take a look at it here olio keki they name their products and if you go blankets let's say any any kind of any blankets what will you what you'll see is that every will be able to build on so like this is half moon kitchen invalid this is interesting because you have a half moon tag here so yeah this is nice thing so do do it like that and this page of course please remove two calls to action have only one call to action take a look at any brand let's say we look at this brand uh what does it show us let's take a look where are we add to cart see just one call to action i don't know shopify does it by default and nobody pays attention to this and this is important i tell this to all the clients all the time that they need to be taken care of i mean you need to remove this from here i have one button only no reviews yet share that's fine share you can remove this nobody's going to share at this point uh, people don't generally like sharing the products unless there's a lot of reviews and everything else available here So those are some of the changes that I would encourage you. Obviously, start collecting email addresses as soon as you can. Clavio has a free account. Set up a free account if you want. I can send you a link and help you organize the account. We have a free training on Clavio, a ten-part video training that I can share with you if you want. And take a look at that training. It will help you get set up step by step and start converting the users that you have. Uh, so, so yeah, I mean, those are some of the things that I I think you need to fix immediately on your website before you go forward with. any bit of advertising etc so that's what i would recommend i mean i can see that you're doing a lot of work on your facebook account you're constantly posting i'm pretty sure you've got some some visitors or you've got some traffic you have 444 followers but uh, as i said at the end of the day what matters is how often are you able to convert them from the website because at the end of the day website is what is going to become your long term traffic source so yeah do these changes once again for the sake of this conversation remove the home button home link convert this link into all of these categories on the top of the page change the color red to ship or something else remove the info links from here go to your footer create four sections in the footer i always encourage everyone to create four sections in the footer even if you don't have content spend about an hour two hours and that that's all it will take to create a footer that looks something like this look at how there is there is a shop section you can have all your categories here company which is about us 
story materials etc you can have some content there help section about care and cleaning very important for your kind of products shipping and return policy return this policy and then contact information you know it doesn't hurt to get some of this information makes you look like a bigger brand than you are i know that you are a startup and then a lot of clients we work with are startups so we kind of coach this in our group all the time so by all means let me know if you want more information about this and i'd be happy to give you that uh, join our group for free coaching and uh, we do these daily audits you will learn a lot we do a lot of email discussions we share emails and here's the group by the way just so you know uh, in fact this video is currently live in this group so we do this audits on an everyday basis so you would be able to see here is the group e-commerce build grow and scale up your e-commerce business so join the group this is free of cost you are going to get a lot of advice you're going to get a lot of uh, you know uh, i mean training you're going to get a lot of uh, freebies uh, we are uploading these guides here we'll be uploading uh, you know templates email designs uh, up conversion optimization post purchase email how to do it so all of these things are free in this group so feel free to join and uh, i'm pretty sure you will gain a lot of value from this. So uh, I hope that this was useful. And yeah, I look forward to uh, next conversation.